What's up, everybody? Welcome back to this, the second episode in my first ever Let's Play series, which of course revolves around Kenshi. Um, hey, do you guys remember in the first episode how I spent a solid ten minutes looking through this town for a freaking pickaxe? Because <laughs> I do. I even went off camera. I went all the way back to the hub looking for a pickaxe. Couldn't find one there either. So I googled it, and as it turns out, you see I don't have one. You don't need a pickaxe to mine. <laughs> oh, if only someone would have told me. You see, all you gotta do is find a deposit like this, a copper resource, right click on it, and whoever you're controlling will pull a pickaxe right out of their buckle. Seems a little uncomfortable. Anyways, I did a little bit of scavenging off camera, and I also did a little bit of mining off camera, just to get some money in order to get some of our first recruits and really get our adventures off the ground. As you can see, I've got solid amount of copper, which I am now going to go ahead and go back into Squan to sell for some sweet, sweet profits. Well, not sweet. Honestly, it's about the smallest amount of profit you can you can actually make in the game. We get about 2,000 cats from selling all that. I'm also going to grab me a little bit more food. Just so I don't die. If, if Every town has one of these police towers in it. If you go up here to the second floor, I'm not going to do it now, but if you go up here to the second floor, there's always some training dummies there that you can use to train up your melee attack skills. So I did that a little bit. I had to do it at night because they didn't appreciate me using their equipment. They told me so several times, um, but I didn't listen. I used it anyway little stinker that I am. And anyways, now that I've got a little bit of that tedious stuff out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and look around for my very first recruit. I actually did a little bit of talking to people previously, so I know that uh, this person, Ruka, who wonders if we're looking at her horns, come a flat skip. She is one of the people that you can recruit without having to pay her. Don't tell her that we would have paid her. The trick is that you got to get through this dialogue tree with just the right options. So, looking at my horns, flat skin. Uh, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, they're stubby, all right. They're pretty bad, dude. Look at those. What happened to your horns, man? Dang, I bet there's a story there. Er, no. Good. Don't. Because I can still prove my worth in battle without them. I have a question for you, Flatskin. What do you do if you are outnumbered on the field of battle? Uh, I'd probably trade my horns to them so they don't beat me up. No, I... Our options are fight tactically... I tail it the hell out of there. Is it a choice? Keep fighting to the end. Well, she's a Shek, so this fight till the end seems, <laughs> seems like the correct choice here. Uh, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it and say number one. Truth. We must even the odds against us when our situation looks bleak. We fight the enemy to the death, and we die with honor on the battlefield. But I didn't die. I awoke, surrounded by death, but still alive. They labeled me a deserter and cut my horns on my return. I'm no longer a warrior, but a servant. Man, that sucks. Man, losing a battle and being accused of being a traitor, man. Then again, if you had even a single injury from that battle, that should have been enough proof for them to not cut your horns, so... Maybe you're not telling the truth here, honestly. If you were unconscious but had no other visible injuries that you could have shown your compatriots, I'm not sure 
Uh, your notch is full of uh, chef crap here. All right, let's see what our options are. But you fought bravely. You didn't deserve that. You lost your horns, but at least you're still alive to fight again. You're damn lucky to be alive. Horns or no horns? Okay. Uh, this, this is the option that is the most about fighting more. <laughs> and the Shack loved them some fighting, so I'm going to go ahead and pick number two. Ruka says, perhaps. Either way, I will not remain here as an unclad warrior. But you, you seem different to the other outsiders. I have met Flatskin. Let us band together. Ah, there it is. I am intrigued to fight alongside you. Okay, it would be an honor, sure. <laughs> I could turn her down, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, here's Ruka. Looks like I did it. Well, she can't be that bad if she can lift that freaking sword. <laughs> or were you playing Final Fantasy VII before this? Damn, look at that thing. All right. Oh, boy, she got uh, bonuses to toughness, attack, strength. I imagine this is, uh, this is the race stats for all Shek. And minus 20% to everything except fighting, it looks like. All right, well. I suck it. Everything, so I can't really complain. Ooh, okay. What about you? Ah, here's the other guy. This, this is the other guy that I think I can hire. Oron. Fletskin. How about earning yourself the loyalty of a Shek warrior? Well, you still got your horns, buddy, so... It looks like a uh, step up from present company. Go on. I need to be freed. 3,500 cats to free me from my lord. Let me fight for you, outsider, as a mighty warrior once again. Peasant life is killing my soul. I need battle. Yeah, okay. 3,500. Honestly, that's about as cheap as Nero Cruz comes, so. Oh. Okay. Alright, we got two now. So, I'm going to go ahead and check the inventory here. Oron brings a larger sword than I have and half a band-aid. Ruka brings, oh, a full band-aid and a much larger sword than I have. She got some boots, too. Ah, here's the thing. I'm going to have to uh, take your boots there, Miss Ruka, because uh, these have a negative effect on her athletics, and she's already way too slow for my liking, so... We're going to go ahead and sell those first chance we get. In fact, I'm just going to keep the commandeering those. You'll get used to it. Walking around barefoot in the desert. No big deal. You're tough, right? Um, oh, she got better pants than me, too. Okay. Uh, give me your pants, Ruka. Don't ask why. Just give me your pants. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I look better. <laughs> At least one of us looks better, right? Oh. She's not wearing the other ones, so put those on ya. Cover your shame, Ruka. By which I mean those horns. <laughs> My athletics, after all the running around I've been doing, have gotten up to forty. Oh, Ruka, seven. Oh, Auron, say it isn't so. Five. Okay. Current run speed, 78. Current run speed, 73. Good God, man. Good God, woman. What, uh, what's holding you back? Yeah, it's 70. Oh, it's probably this giant, heavy-ass sword. Okay, well, Cooper. Okay, at least I got two people here. That's a big step up. A lot more than one person, I'll tell you that. Ostrip. Oh, I thought I was going to talk to Rain the Giant, but he, he must have moved on. Don't get many outsiders like you around here. I can't tell. Oh, I guess it's a lady, so. Don't get many outsiders like you around here. Oh, she's talking to Ruka. I keep doing this. I am steady. I control steady. There we go. You warrior flat skin. I'm looking for a new clan. I want to be able to fight to earn my way to the afterlife, to the gateway. 
But here, a servant can never fight. Yeah, all right. Cool. Huh. Oh, 3,000? That's it? You're in. All right. <laughs> Dang. I got a little harem of Shek warriors going on here. Luca, Oren, and Ostrid. What's your deal, Ostrid? Athletics of zero. Good God. Freaking couch potato. Come on now. Yeah, wow. She's she's worse than Steady was when I first took control of him. At least Steady had one in everything. He's got a big old fat zero in a bunch of stuff. Ruka, hold on now, hold on now. Ruka, Oren, Ostrin. Kind of lore friendly Shek names. And then we've got Greasepot. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's also a uh, dishonorable crap bag, judging by his horns. Greasepot. Sheesh. Better be able to cook at least. Price is 3,000 cats. Alright, you're in. Oh, it's another lady. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I should do an all Shek lady playthrough. I've already got a great start. Let's see here. Nope, nope. Not Wait a minute now. In her icon, she's got those full honorable horns. Huh, is that a different... I could have swore she had clipped horns a minute ago. What the heck happened there? What'd you do, Grease Pot? How'd you do that? What's your secret? Nice one. All right, then. All right, look at this. I got a little crew together. This is great. This is awesome. Things are looking up. All right. Fortunately... My crew absolutely sucks. They are total garbage. There is absolutely no denying it. Let's just do a little test here. Let's just see. If we zoom on over to this side of town, we'll start right here. We'll have a little race. Have, a, have us a little race across town. And, all right, let's run. Let's all run across the town. Ready, stop! All right, so Steady got here. Oh boy. Steady got here a full one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. Got way, way, way faster than any. She's come on, finish strong, finish strong, ladies. You just walking now. Come on. All right. Well, it doesn't really matter. You're all way too slow. Ah, so you know what that means. It is time. For a little bit of the good old Baxi Force C. Baxi Force C's? A little of the good old back and forth. We'll call it that. Some, some athletics trading. You know, I think I just made a euphemism. The good old back and forth? Yeah, maybe. In any case, this is what the next half hour of my game is going to look like. I think I'm going to go ahead and spare you the gory details and do this off screen bring you back in once my little harem isn't quite so garbage at moving around see you then and we are back um as you can see i've got my athletic skills on my lovely shek ladies up into the lower 40s I've also managed to sneak into the police station once again and train their melee attack up almost to 10. And to top everything off, I had them do some mining. You can see I'm, I've gone from 1,500 to 8,000 counts. And I used the ore to help train my strength. That's gone up from 1 to lower teens or mid teens. So with that, I think I'm roughly equal to about 
five hungry bandits right now. And while that's not very good, it's plenty good enough for me at the moment. So we are going to head out. Uh oh. Into the world. Oh. There's a bag check. Well, right there. Do I care about this one guy? I guess I'll. I guess I'll just get this over with. I don't want any trouble. With this town, I'll show, show them the gear, and I may pass. Very good. Also bought some maps. Now I know where some things are in the world. Um, but just for fun, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike out to the west and go all the way to what I can only assume is an ocean. Hopefully I can find some interesting things and also survive. So, here we go. I'm going to be very careful and scout this plateau as I, as I move along. Oh, oh, oh. Some people, some action, some movement. Okay, some hungry bandits. A large contingent of them. Do they see me is the question. No, they do not is the answer. And that's kind of nice. One thing I forgot to mention is that I did do a little bit of training with my stealth. <laughs> Emphasis on the little part of that sentence. So we're going to go ahead and sneak away. Sneak away, guys. Sneak away. You're not sneaking, guys. There we are. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so the bandits are now... Ah, yeah, they're still on the other side of that hill. Oh, and they're, oh, they're coming this way. That's, that's bad. Oh, but they, they didn't see... Oh, I'm, a, I'm in a little fold within the, within the land here. They, they can't see me. Excellent. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna stay right here. And we're gonna attempt to evade this... This party of... I can't really... See... Count them from here, but there's... Certainly too many for me to take on. So... I'm gonna be sneaking on back this way. And hopefully this will up my sneak skill, which is a very useful skill to have. And if I can stay on top of this hill for a bit, I could probably just circumvent these dudes. Yeah. They don't suspect a thing, do they? They do not. They do not. They suspect nothing. Okay, so we're gonna they appear to be moving off to the right, so I'm gonna be very smart, very crafty, very wise, and I'm gonna go left. There's a pro tip for you. If they go right, go left. All right, we don't need to sneak anymore. I think we'll, I think we'll do a little bit on times two. Oh boy, look at that. Fresh victims? Where? Where are the fr Oh, he needs us. Crap. Okay. But <laughs> you barely see these, what I can only assume are. Oh, a dust boss. Interesting. Dust bandits. Ooh, uh, that's bad. That's no good. Dust bandits are stronger than hungry bandits. So gosh, geez, I can still see the town from where I am. And I've already run into two groups of NPC enemies that I cannot fight, do not want to fight, and if I know what's good for me, had better not fight. So I think this is the wrong direction. I, I think I picked the wrong direction here. Um, I wonder. I wonder. Okay. These. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select everybody right now. All right. So. Yeah. Maybe what I should do is just bring these dudes back to town. Town's right down there, and there's some very powerful, very experienced, very feisty Shek town guards right down there. And it looks like my athletics, athletics training has paid off once again, as I'm able to pretty handily outdistance. Oh no, don't. Eh. They lost interest. They said. <laughs> They're not cut out for the running, huh? All right, well, I mean, I am, so I would rather you... 
I'm I'm cut out for running. Oh, okay, okay. Now what? Good day. My people are gonna. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. One stayed behind. One stayed behind. I didn't even notice him. He really blends right into his surroundings there. It's quite. Uh, that's quite well done. That's quite well done, Vandal Dust Bandit. But ah, man, can I even? Can I even fight this dude? Do I even want to fight this dude? I'm not sure I do. Then again, those other dudes keep. Okay, okay. Maybe I do want to fight this dude. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Let me just think here. I gotta watch these other guys. Make sure they still go away. Could use a little bit of melee training. That's good. Oh, I nailed him. Oh, I absolutely murdered him. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, almost perfect victory. Grease pot. Grease pot. You screwed it up. I almost had a perfect victory there. All right. Well, let's, uh, oops. Yeah. Give grease pot a little first aid. Whilst Ruka can check out. Ooh, look at this. Look at this. We've got a little bit of uh, loot here. That's. Uh oh. Oh, there's another one. Another one came back. Or got lost towards me. <laughs> because I don't see the other. Oh, the other ones are all over here still. Alright, alright. Well, let's. Uh, Let's make sure we get that stuff. Who's, who's the strongest person here? That would be Luca. Okay. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go ahead and give this one to my main guy, Mr. Steady. So this is a decent pants, but they will make whoever wears them slower. Then again, Steady is significantly faster than anybody else. So, I'm going to hand the good pants to Ruka. Get myself an armored skirt. Alright. Am I ready here? Am I ready? I'm ready. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Right, so, you are the one who is being attacked. So, I'm going to go ahead and put on black mode. This guy ain't getting up soon. Now, Oran in block mode. That'll raise Oran's defensive ability. Oh, another one's coming back. Another one's coming back here. Ah, is this situation going to quickly spiral out of control? I'm not sure. Attack target. Don't mind if another one comes back. Yeah, the rest of them are... Oh, another one! They're kind of trickling at me one by one, huh? Okay. So now I'm going to put Austin on block mode. Take Oran off of block mode. Because Austin's the one who's getting attacked by two of the enemies. Oh, and I just nailed another one. So what else is going on here? Dust Bandit is now attacking... I don't know. Everybody just get him. Just get him. I'm going to make sure to... Yeah, just get him. Just get him. Engaged in the sword fighting. Okay. Ooh. Alright. Oh, oh! That's what I was kind of sort of afraid of. If I could gang up on him, I could take him out pretty quickly. But in an even fight, these guys will annihilate me pretty badly. So now we're doing it. Uh, and that dust bandit isn't really Ah, uh, so now there's three of them here. And they have mostly full health, so I think I gotta run, unfortunately. This is does not feel good to run here, but I think it's I think I just I gotta do it because the five of us definitely cannot take on three of them. Hundred percent cannot do it. So let's just go ahead and click down there. Um, and everybody, we got a couple nicks, couple scrapes, 
couple right arm hanging oddly off of Austrin. But I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. I think this will be okay. Did we outdistance them? It looks like we did. It looks like we outdistanced them. They're not I don't see them chasing us anymore. So let's go back to that other one that we that we fucked up. And uh where did they go? Where did, where did, yeah, I don't even remember where it was. So I'll take this opportunity to do a little first aid. Hopefully that's uh, up to our oh yeah. Got a couple points to my melee attack skill on a couple of characters. Even a couple of points to melee defense. Point or two to katana. So that was indeed worth it. Is that the is that the guy? Is that the dude? Is that someone I can kill? Yeah, I think that's them. I think that's them. Nope, that's a slave. Interesting. Interesting. Grease pot is really hungry. Oh, we ate all our food already. Look at that. We have no food. That's bad. All right. Well, keep using them band aids. Keep on using them band aids. Slaves. Sometimes you can convince slaves to join you. Not all the time, but I think I'm gonna try it. I could definitely use another another warm body swinging a cold sword. That would be right at my alley. So. And I talked to oh, so this yeah they're slaves they're slaves all right uh huh. so I can attack them follow them or protect them but I can't this person Osafi he's patrolling what is he patrolling oh leader this is an escape slave he's part of the slave party. Use tools, use strength. Let's just try to unlock shackles. And then maybe he'll be so grateful that, oh, he just wandered slowly away. Did you not get that I was trying to help you? Alright, I mean, that's okay. Sure, sure. Why not? <laughs> if you would like to wander around with those shackles on, who am I to stop you? It's a free wasteland, after all. Um, so let's just let's just run back to town because I don't have any food. That's a bad way to do an adventure. You can't adventure on an empty stomach. You'll starve. You won't have any fun, and you'll die. So, so now that we have some food, hmm. I wonder if it's even possible for me to reach the ocean as my previously stated goal was. Because I did not make it very far at all before having to run away and fight and run back to town. Um, I think I am going to try again. However, I also think then I'm going to save my second attempt to do a little exploring for next time, episode 3. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm Wombat, and if you enjoyed this video, please do hit subscribe and like. It would mean the world to me, and I can't wait to share episode 3 with you um, in a couple of days. Until next time.